In this video, I'm going to demonstrate how uh, following the principles of KISS makes me 100,800 times as productive compared to following uh, software development best practices related to design patterns and architectural design decisions, etc. In addition, uh, it allows me to deliver 12 0.9 times, implying roughly 7% of the end resulting technical debt. So basically, if I was to use software development best practices according to how they're taught by modern uh, software development books, trying to teach junior developers best practices and architectural design patterns of enterprise software development, then I would produce 12.9 times as much cognitive debt or technical debt and I would spend 100,800 times as much resources to uh, finish the project. Here I have an interesting uh, little project. It's got 1,672 lines of C-sharp code uh, divided among 35 files. It's using CQRS and the mediator pattern. I'm not going to disclose who it was made from was made as a tutorial for a book about software development, the best practices. Uh, <clears throat> here you can uh, look at its code. It's basically an API, a web API. It doesn't do anything else but being a web API. It builds a Docker container and stuff like that. But uh, let's uh, look at the uh, C-sharp code. Here you can see program.cs, uh, so far so good. Right, not uh, too complex. Then we start uh, opening up the migrations here. Okay, these are basically database uh, migrations. Um, and then let's have a look at the code. <laughs> uh, I don't mean to be rude, but you know, there's like 35 files like this in this project, right? And um, it probably doesn't even handle filtering. I mean, you can get the to do's by ID, right? But uh, I can't see any filtering. Let's see, get to do's. Let's see if this endpoint takes any kind of like uh, map to do's, I sender, get to do's query. Let's see if this actually is uh, doing something in intelligently. Get to do's query. I don't even know if it's doing filtering, I, I doubt it. Uh, I'm too lazy to find out. Uh, yet again, 1,672 lines of C-sharp code divided among 35 files. Let, let me ask you a question. Let, let's say you, you, you want to add one additional field to your you know, to-do table, right? How many files do you even need to, to modify in order to actually implement that using uh, this uh, stuff, right? Now, my reasons for uh, <clears throat> showing uh, this application is because I wanted to illustrate how best practices, software development, enterprise, architectural design patterns can sometimes go completely overboard and basically destroy your ability to maintain and create functioning software. Now, if a client came to me and wanted a to-do app, this is how I would do it. First of all, I'd create a database. Then I'd uh, design my database by adding a table. I'm going to create the uh, exact same app in Hyper Lambda that the C-sharp code encapsulates. Title. Description. I guess we could add, add a timestamp to uh, create that column type uh, timestamp, just for kicks. Could I have created, I guess, a default value for that? It doesn't matter. Now I'm gonna go into the endpoint generator. I'm gonna choose my uh, to do guy here, I'm just going to click uh, generate endpoints. Then uh, I'm going to go back to manage, or I'm going to go back to create on hyper ID, and I'm now done to do. So the C sharp solution took 1672 lines of code. 
1,672. Yeah. Let's uh, check out uh, how many lines of code uh, this thing was. Count. Oops. Count. Count look. Folder modules to do. 170, 137 lines of code. Calculator. 1,762 divided by 137. The so-called best practices app has a complexity yield of 12.9 times multiplication factor of the hyper lambda equivalent uh, related to lines of code. That means you have now acquired 12.9 times as much uh, technical debt if you were to follow best practices with this tutorial example about how to implement a to-do app according to lines of code. Then let's see how many files it has, 35. My project has, if you remember, five files. One, two, three, four, five. And it probably has a shitload of features that the C-sharp solution doesn't have either. So let's divide 137 divided by five. And on the complexity related to the number of uh, files you need to maintain, you have a multiplication factor of 27.4 times. That means that if you were to create a to-do app using the best practices suggested by this tutorial, literally intended, as a chapter in a book for teaching people how to do software development in 2024, you would add 27.4 times as much complexity when it comes to the number of lines of code and 1,762 divided by 137 and 12.9 times as much technical depth and cognitive complexity when it comes to the number of lines of code. Have a nice day.